Once considered a fringe conspiracy theory, it appears that the Obama administration is now actively preparing for a massive solar event that could wipe out life as we have come to know it. Space weather events such as solar flares, solar energetic particles, and geometric disturbances have been believed to pose a significant threat to our technology advanced society with the ability to not only affect global positioning satellites, but on earth electronics that include the entire domestic and global power grid. In the latest executive order signed by Barack Obama, the president calls for coordination between various government agencies, including the Department of Defense and the Department of Homeland Security, should a major space weather event come to pass. Exclusive order coordinating effects to prepare the nation for space weather events by the authority vested in me as president by the Constitution and the laws of the United States of America and to prepare the nation for space weather events it is hereby ordered as follows. Section 1. Policy space weather events in the form of solar flares, solar energetic particles, and geometric disturbances occur regularly, some with measurable effects on critical infrastructure systems and technologies such as global positioning system, GPS, or satellite operations and communications, aviation, and the electrical power grid. Extreme space weather events, those that could significantly degrade critical infrastructure, could disable large portions of the electric power grid, resulting in cascading failures that would affect key services such as water supply, healthcare, and transportation. Space weather has the potential to simultaneously affect and disrupt health and safety across entire continents. Though often dismissed as nothing more than fear the threat of space weather events is not only possible, it is quite probable as evidenced by a massive solar flare which narrowly missed Earth back in 2012. Quote, the speed of this event was faster than anything that has been seen in the modern space age, said Baker. Had it hit Earth, the July 2012 event likely would have created a technological disaster by short-circuiting satellites, power grids, ground communications equipment, and even threatening the health of astronauts in aircraft crews. We have proposed that the 2012 event be adopted as the best estimate of the worst case space weather scenario. It is possible that the Obama administration has scientific evidence supporting the fact that a space weather event is imminent. One congresswoman thinks so, having claimed that there is a 100% chance of a crippling event. The executive order signed by Obama on October 13, 2016 certainly suggests this may be the case. It is the policy of the United States to prepare for space weather events to minimize the extent of economic loss and human hardship. The federal government must have the capability to predict and detect space weather events, the plans and programs necessary to alert the public in private sectors to enable mitigation actions for an impending space weather event, the protection and migration plans, protocols, and standards required to reduce risk to critical infrastructure prior to a credible threat, and the ability to respond to and recover from the effects of space weather, executive departments and agencies must coordinate their efforts to prepare for the effects of space weather events. Coupled with a previous executive doomsday order signed by the president in March of 2012, the federal government now has the ability to take full control of critical national infrastructure elements, including food resources, energy resources, farms, health facilities, water resources, and even the nation's workforce. While millions of people have been preparing for the possibility of a catastrophic event by relocating to rural homesteads or farms, as well as stockpiling food, water, personal defense armaments, and other essential supplies with the intention of utilizing these preparations if the worst happens, the latest executive order signed by President Obama on March 16, 2012 makes it clear that in the event of a national deemed emergency, all of these resources will fall under the authority of the U.S. government. Recent projections from a secret Homeland Security report suggest that as many as 100 million Americans could be left without power should a powerful enough solar storm strike Earth. Another report paints an even more terrifying picture, indicating that without access to power via our grid, America would literally come to a standstill. Critical supplies including medicine, gas, and food would be undeliverable and within one year, as many as 90% of Americans would be dead if the grid were not restored. The problem, according to the Preppers Blueprint, author Tess Pennington, is that over 90% of Americans are not only lacking any preparation for such a catastrophic scenario, but even if advance warning was sent to the population 12 hours ahead of time, 
it would simply be too late. Pennington warns that a breakdown could happen very quickly and catch most people by surprise. Unfortunately, that 12 hours number doesn't tell the whole story. It's probably true that during a worst case scenario, it would take 12 hours for a solar storm to reach Earth. The only question is, can our scientific instruments detect a solar storm in that time frame? Currently, our planet's early warning system consists of a satellite called Discover, which launched in February of this year and reached its destination between the Earth and the Sun last June. The satellite it replaced could give us a 15 minute warning, but the Discover satellite isn't much of an improvement. It only gives a 30 to 45 minute warning. Do government officials know that a life-threatening solar event is becoming increasingly more probable? Or is the Obama administration simply taking proactive steps to prepare? Whatever the case, it is important to note that Americans are not prepared to deal with the aftermath of such a scenario. Millions of people will die. That is the facts. Perhaps the actions being implemented on the federal level should be a wake-up call to all Americans to be prepared for any disaster right now. Again, this video is not a fear-mongering video. We're just reporting to you what Obama did back on the 13th of this month. Now, what do you think? Is Obama preparing for an event that they calculate that will happen within the next few years? Or is he just covering his own butt and just getting everything ready just in case something happens? Very interested in what you think below this video. Thanks for watching.